Hey fellow back there, boyers. Nick here. So, welcome to nighttime at the Sammamish Nap Inn. There's still some people napping downstairs, and I've got the upstairs shop all to myself. So today I'm going to show you guys how to take a bow that's got some issues with it and just completely remake it. Reheat the pipe, bring it back to new pipe state, and then turn it back into a bow. So this bow was made by somebody here at the Knappen. They brought it in and it's got some issues with it. One of the main ones is that it's got an incomplete taper so that the handle has no stability so when they tried to shoot it you can see how much the handle is actually folded sideways. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about redoing a bow like this. So this bow has a leather wrapped handle on it first thing I'm going to do is remove the leather wrap and then take off this arrow rest and I'm going to try and do this carefully so that I can put it back on when we're done. See how cleanly it comes off. I'm just going to peel it off. Oh, actually, it's only glued at the end, so not an issue. Okay. So there we go, and then I'm just going to pop this off, there we go, arrow rest came off, wrap came off. Alright, so I've got heating trough here, flattening jig over here, I've set it to a little over three quarter of an inch. And what I'm going to do first is just start heating up this midsection. Once this starts puffing out, then I'll put it into the heating trough and then heat up half the bow completely so that I can reflatten it. And a lot of times if you're having issues with a bow or at least one limb, there are ways to do spot fixes, but a lot of times it's easier to just reheat the whole thing and start all over again. Now, this is especially true for pipe that hasn't been painted yet. Though usually if you've already painted it, then spot fixes might be a better option. Let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, it looks pretty good. So now that I've got my even taper on both sides, I'm going to work on the handle. I'm just going to heat up the center section and about an inch out on either side. Once that comes back to round, I'm going to place it down here and I'm going to form my handle section. Now that this pipe is nice and tapered, it won't have any stability issues in the handle and I can make it fairly thin so that it's nice in the hand and there's less handle for the arrow to have to go around. So, here we go. So now we're going to heat up the tips. When we do this, you got to make sure that you don't heat up the sides or it could split. You just want to heat the back and the belly. Once this puffs out, then it'll be safe to heat up the sides. I'm going to go for tips that are similar to the ones this bow already had. I'm going to let this puff out and then just give it a nice gradual taper just lightly with my fingers and then I'm going to crimp the end. Right, so I've rewrapped this handle. I used contact cement to put the arrow rest back on. Now what I'm going to do here is the bottom was a little rough so I'm going to do a little bit of a cleaner job I've put contact cement on the inside of this leather just at the end and then I put contact cement on part of the leather wrap and part of the PVC. So now I'm going to grab this end piece really tight now that both have dried. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Just kind of push that up and there we go. So that's one way to do a wrap that has a fairly seamless end to it. So there it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.